What? What have you done? I've killed you. Knock sure. some sense into you, I hope. Same. I can feel the darkness slipping from her soul dust. We have done it. She is now safe. Darkness? Are you all right, Lady Tethys? What is this? I saw what your general was doing. I could feel the souls of all the innocents he killed screaming for help. And I have succumbed to that darkness. That desire for justice, no matter the cost. Justice must be tempered with mercy, Lady Tethys. Otherwise, it is nothing more than revenge. I must apologize, Dust. Nice words. I see now that you wield one of the blades of Elysium. Had I noticed before, I would have treated you with more respect. Blades of Elysium? I will explain later. We have other, more pressing matters at hand. I know you feel like you are doing the right thing by holding back the waters, but Mudpot needs them now more than ever. Oh, the waters, yes! I only hope it's not too late. Indeed, though your motives were noble, I fear it did little to stop General Gaius and his campaign on the surface. Already I can feel his army's footsteps. They travel north, into the mountains. Then we gotta hurry. Ginger was on her way there too. Oh boy. Before you go, perhaps I can repay you for freeing me of my madness. At the base of the northern mountains, there is a grand estate. The baron of these lands is a man named Cain. He knew your general, and if you help him, he will be willing to assist you in your quest to end Gaius's campaign. Apologies, Lady Tethys, but we must make haste. There is a villager in Mudpod who is very close to death. I can feel it now. His life force is very weak. How could I let this happen? We've no time to waste. Is there a shortcut? Yes, of course. Right through here. We'll get there in time. I hope so, Fidget. Goodbye, Dust. Alright, let's go, let's go. Thank God, she's done. With this. Oh, Fidget. Yeah. Oh, let's see. That's his little shocky thing. Oh my god. That's awesome. And she just like shoots like. Oh my god, that's awesome. Yes. Just keeps getting better and better. What is this? Oh. Okay. Ah. Hi. Hello. Sheep. Oh, right. Yeah, get this thing. Come on. Boom, chakalaka. Hey, look, sunlight. Fancy that. A final parting gift from Lady Tethys, it would seem. That'll help when we need to return to the surface. But right now, we should find both. We'll get there in time. You have much to learn about the world, Fidget. All right, let's go. Let's go. Go to Bopo. Yo, what's okay? Yo, I got a serious wall chicken. Let me eat that. Bopo. My homeboy at. Yeah. Hi, Bopo. Dust. Look. The what? We came back as soon as. She's inside with Pa. Once the water started flowing again, she brought it right in for him. Oh, look, here she comes now. Hello. Bobo, darling. Uh -oh. Mama? What is it, Mama? Oh, boy. He held on as long as he could, but it just weren't enough. Huh? I'm sorry, sweetheart. I truly am. He was such a fighter. It was... It was just his time. And when it comes, there ain't nothing you can do. But... We got the water running. We... We failed, Fidget. We weren't fast enough. Damn it! We weren't fast enough! Dust, you stop that moaning right this instant! You get your did spoon what on. you could. You did more than anyone. And for that, you deserve all our thanks. 
You could have gotten the water running days ago. But I think the hurt was just too hard on him. Huh? Did you hear? I got the water running. Huh? Poor Goku. Ah! Master, let's give them a moment alone. Understand, we got the water running. We did everything we were supposed to. Fidget, it's like what Bopo's mother said. When the life thread calls for you, you must go. He was fated to pass, and there is nothing we could have done to stop it. That doesn't excuse this, Aura. Did you know? Did you know we'd be too late? If I told you before, would you still have tried to save him? The village needed its water supply. I would have gone to the lady either way. Then it doesn't matter what I knew. And it is why there is hope for you yet, Dust. What does that mean? Why is it that every time I make a decision, you treat it like some kind of test? What haven't you told me, Ara? This is not the time nor the place. And just what is the perfect time and place? How many more have to die before you tell me who I am? Who am I, Ara? What am I even doing here? Stop yelling! Just please, please stop. I can't take this right now. We did the best we could, Dust. We did the best we could. I'm sorry, Fidget. I didn't mean to... And stop worrying about who you are! You're dust! You hear me? I don't care who you were! I don't even care if you used to work for that general guy! Because you're dust now! Wise words, Fidget. Dust, your past is fractured, and your future is not yet written. But you have traveled through this world as a beacon of good, and that is all that matters. You're both right. I'm worrying so much about who I was that I've been blind to the good I've done as dust. Anyway, it's late. We should find a place to sleep. A wise choice. A night's rest will clear your head. I... And with these final words, we commit Popop's essence to the life thread, where he joins all who have come and gone, who were and who have been. We'll be seeing you, old friend. Goodbye, my love. Goodbye, Pa. I'll miss you. Bopo. Thank you, Dust. Without you, we wouldn't have any water. You saved Mud Pot. I only wish I could have done more. Nah, you did plenty. You showed me what it means to be strong, even when the world's against you. Pa's gone now, so I gotta be strong for Mama. Strong like you. You're a good kid, Bopo. I think your father would be proud. I think so too. I also think he's happy I found a friend like you. Thank you, Dust. I'm sorry, Bopo, but I have to go now. I have to get back to the surface, to make sure this doesn't happen ever again. You'll come back though, right? You gotta make sure you come back. I... I can't. Mm. I promise. I... Well... Where do I go now? Are you ready to leave, Dust? I think so, yes. We need to get back to the surface and find that manor Lady Tethys mentioned. Yes, I know of the place she spoke of. An old estate at the foot of the mountains called the Sorrowing Meadow. Sounds fun. The Sorrowing Meadow? Is that somewhere between Blood Death Gulch and Endless Pain Hill? It was not always called that, Fidget. It was once a peaceful place. But even now, as we stand so far away from it, I can feel something nefarious emanating from its foundations. Right. Well, that's great! Really, I'm excited. How about you, Dust? You excited? I'm just thrilled, Fidget. 
Come on, let's get back to the surface. Which it's not even like you ever die. I'm the one who always dies. Like what? Grateful. So gun. Get me out of here. <laughs> Good fly up. Meow. 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 I wanna see if it's just new thing. Shock. Fine! <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Whoa! <laughs> there he goes! <laughs> Alright. Well, guys. Oh, wow. I killed a lot. Well, guys, that's gonna be it for this session. I thank you guys very much for joining me as we worked to save mud pots, but unfortunately could not save our dearest friends, person, thing. Yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'll be seeing you guys next time. And